Hello everybody, it's me, the Rule Local Maniac. I'm back again with another 16-bit wars. Now today, 16-bit wars. Um, I forgot to put on the uh, little logo thing that says 16-bit wars, but I think that's mostly due to the fact that that was on my old computer and I've lost that. But oh well, I will be having a new fantastic intro for my 16-bit wars and 8-bit wars. Well, anyway, um, on with the show. Today, 16-bit wars is. Aliens 3. Now, the first time I ever played Alien 3 was on the Sega Mega Drive. And I tell you what, it is a fantastic game. Now, graphically, it's really good. The music's really intense as well, if you can hear that. It's well good. Now, if you haven't seen the film, basically, you play Ellen Ripley, who's the only uh, sole survivor after um, Aliens, you know, Hicks and the little girl Newt um, have died, unfortunately. And basically, Ripley lands on a prison planet where she's the only female and everyone's bold because of some sort of head lice. Anyway, she basically lands there with no weapons. And it's just one alien. So it sort of takes it back to the first film with added danger. But in this game, you couldn't sort of really do that in the 16-bit era when everything's all about platform and shooting. So, yeah, they had their own little twist on Alien 3 where basically Ripley runs around with shitloads of weapons. Now, I'll tell you what. So that what you're meant to do here in this game is you play as Ellen Ripley and you're just meant to go up, up ladders, go through tunnels, and you're meant to search for all the uh, human survivors and you've got to rescue them and obviously you've got all the uh, aliens trying to stop you and trying to kill you but I mean as you can see the aliens look fantastic they're beautifully animated there Ellen Ripley looks nice there as well you know Scorny Weaver now I, I do love the color scheme in this game it is fantastic now th this game did appear on other sort of systems it did appear on the I think the Amiga and surprisingly enough, even on the Commodore 64, it's got a decent port, this as well. And the Sega Master System, and I think even the NES. But anyway, guys, I did not think that, you know, that this game could be beaten. Oh, boy, was I wrong. Now, normally with the 16-bit wars, guys, I normally sort of um, let you guys decide, you know, uh, towards the end, or I'll give you my opinion towards the end. But I'll, be, I'll do it different this time. This time, the winner... It's not Sega Mega Drive. Honestly, I mean, I bought this game and I thought it was fantastic. So I'm a massive Alien fan. I, I, I love the series. Now, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video, guys, is basically... Um, I've been talking to Glenn from the 1HM PS Forum. He's recently um, seen uh, Predators. And I've seen Predators. Now, I wasn't a big fan of the Alien vs. Predator films. But Predators, I do recommend that you go and see because I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a throwback to the first Predator film. And I thought Alien Brody, even though he's nowhere near as big as Arnold Schwarzenegger, he still does an impressive job in that film. But anyway, slightly off, I'm, I'm going off subject there. So the reason why I'm doing this uh, video is because Glenn recently did um, Alien vs. Predator on the Jaguar. And um, if you haven't checked out Glenn's channel, uh, please do so. I'll probably uh, add a little link to this at some point on the video where you can, where you can check out. And so, yeah, so Glenn said he hadn't seen the 16-bit versions of Alien 3. And I, I said to him, you know what, dude? I'm going to do a 16-bit Wars for you. Now, anyway, like I said before, the Super Nintendo version is the best version. I didn't realize it at the time. I had the Sega Mega Drive version. But I bought this because... I'd heard it was going to be a little bit different. Now, because of the YouTube time limit, I can't show you the really good intro where it shows a big spaceship flying by. It shows Ripley's pod thing crashing into this planet because of the YouTube uh, time, you know, 10 minute time limit. So I'm going to have to skip past that. But I mean, it really, from the intro, from the get go, you could sense it was already different from the Sega Mega Drive version. Now, once the game starts, I'm going to tell you a few of the differences in the actual game. Now again guys, I've got to quickly apologise. For some reason, the quality on my Super Nintendo footage in this isn't the best quality, so I am sorry about that guys. But you know, you, you'll get the gist of it anyway. Alright, so let me quickly start, let's get through all that 
the intro, Alien 3, yeah, Super Nintendo. So you got game option, continue, and game start. So let's start stage one. Now, already the music there was fantastic there. Now, listen to that. Now, look at the detail of the color there. Now, this was one of my favorite levels. You know, it was just like with a fog and everything. It may not look super on the actual video because it might look a little bit, you know, blocky and stuff like that. Because that's just the way, I've, unfortunately, it's come out in the recording. But to me, this already with the uh, Super Nintendo fog effect added so much drama to the game. Already, I I could tell it was something different. I mean, look at that. Look at all the uh, things hanging in the ceilings. It is absolutely amazing. Now, you've got pretty much the same sort of weapons as you do in the Mega Drive version. And where this game differs is, not only do you have to save the humans, but you've got missions to do. Now, you select different missions, and once you've done all those missions, you move on to the next uh, sort of part of the prison thing, where you've got even more missions to do. And it becomes one hell of a task to do it. So, told you a little bit about the mission there, I just skipped past it. Then you can try and track it down. Luckily, I know where it is. It's in Assembly Hall 3. You go through Corridor 12, right down to Cell Block 3. And up there, you'll find the humans which you have to save. All right, so let's skip past all that. And let's get down to some action. Is it just me? Or, or did I find, um, you know, Scorny Weaver and Aliens somewhat attractive? Oh, I did. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I was just showing you the pipes there. The colour scheme when you go through in the pipes in the Super Nintendo version is just amazing because all the colour around it sort of um, darkens and just where you are sort of looks bright, which is really well done. Now look at the graphics in this. Now I'm just jumping around because in this version here it's probably best you conserve all your weapons on the Super Nintendo version. Now I do find it bizarre that how all the prisoners are just standing in the background there. There's aliens running around, they're not running like hell. But, alright, look at the graphics. The graphics are already uh, a hell of a lot better than the Super Nintendo version. And the sound effects are superb. And e even the music score is, is, um, is amazing. Everything just looks like, a little bit more polished. Like the weapons, the effects on the flames. You know, the sound effects that Ripley makes. Alright, jump over. Right, guys. Yeah, I want to uh, quickly let you all know that um, I've been giving the 1HMPS site a bit of an overhaul. I've been making it look a little bit flashier. It does look a little bit nicer. We've also got a new 1HMPS forum, which I'm really liking. Uh, the only thing about the 1HMPS site, I still need to sort of fix it a little bit for the fact that on certain browsers, it looks different. On Safari, it looks spot on. But on uh, Windows, some of the little boxes are a little bit out of place. But guys, I will try and figure that out. So if you do uh, check out my site, which is one hour monthly podcast show uk, you'll find everything there. You'll find the forum, you've got your own blogging facilities now, and you've got the main site as well. So check it out if you like. And I'd also like to say thank you to everyone on the uh, forum which is Ototo72, Atrum Diablos, ZX Amiga, Pix, uh, Glenn, and Sweeney, and everyone else. Thank you guys, I appreciate your help. Right, so now I'm coming towards the end of the video. Now if you look carefully towards the end of the video, my desktop pops up. And you'll see a picture of me in a baseball cap, and my wife, for a split second. <laughs> I don't know, somehow it recorded that. Anyway guys, see you next time. The Super Nintendo version is the winner.